Now I want to focus on this dreadful accident of yesterday. 13 people dead after a packed SUV crashed into a tractor trailer. This was near the border, Mexican border in California. Investigators suspect that human smuggling was involved. Laura Logan knows a lot about this. Laura, uh, the human smuggling, you've done specials on this. What do you know about this uh, in, in this context today? Well, I've been talking to a number of different sources, agents, people in law enforcement who are involved in this kind of thing all the time, Stuart. Yeah. And with all the time I've spent on the border, you know, when you see a, a crash like that, you know instantly from the number of people that were inside that vehicle that there's a very, very high chance that they're illegal immigrants. And then, of course, in this case, when you look and see that it happened right at the border wall, in fact, there was part of the border wall that was actually knocked down. Um, then typically what you have is uh, someone who's come to uh, pick the people up and wants to get away as quickly as possible. They know that Border Patrol has assets in the sky. They know that they often have uh, people watching them. Sometimes they're in pursuit. This was not the case in this particular incident. But um, the cartels used generally two kinds of drivers, according to the agents who deal with this all the time. Sometimes a young guy, very often actually, a young guy who's, in their words, a young punk who just wants to get away, doesn't care about the people, is reckless, often not a very good driver. That's what they deal with more than anything else. And then the older drivers who just try to go the speed limit and stay under the radar. But, um, you know, oh, what they tell me, um, sadly and very unfortunately, is that they deal with this kind of thing all the time. And in fact, what is now happening is they've been called, um, the agents in Texas have been called into a meeting later today to discuss the use of force and the terms. And there's this growing feeling among the agents that uh, Department of Homeland Security and this administration does not have their backs. That uh, whenever anything Ugh. like this happens, the media That's... is the first to look for Border Patrol to say it's their fault because they were chasing them, they put them under pressure. And, um, and now, okay. of course, their use of force uh... rules are being reviewed once again. I gotta go, uh, Laura. I'm sorry about that. So I'm out of time. But uh, we'll be watching you on Fox Nation. Great report on this. Back in a moment.